he's getting a little close. Oh my God, all the chickens. Betty, you behave. You be a good girl. That's a good girl, Betty. They come over here all the time. I knew that was going to happen. Betty, come on. They come over on my property all the time. Watch her get all tangled up in these weeds. She's going to be mad. Betty, stop it. Oh, my goodness. Betty, come on. They're just little chickens. Look, she's going to get herself tangled up in this. At least she won't be getting my solar panels. Those poor little chickens. Look, one of them's a baby. I don't know if you can see him. Cute little chickens. Aww. Oh, I wish you could see the baby one. There is a baby one over there. Goodness gracious, Betty. All right, let me go scold my dog. Betty, seriously. Really? Really? Calm down. Good Lord. You know, I just got to looking at all these weeds and he is constantly getting tangled up in them. And I figure, gosh, it sure would be nice to have those out. I just don't have a lot of skills with power tools. So, you know what? I figured, why don't I just see how hard they are to pull out by hand? And strangely enough, they're not because they're all dead. I'm pulling up by the roots and they come out pretty easily. So, yeah, why don't I just see how much I can get done with my own two hands? All right, so what's Anne's tiny life doing today? Well, she's picking up this big stack of bricks that she used for her so-called rocket stove. Gonna put them in there and haul them probably over there somewhere. And since I don't have a weed whacker, I've already pulled quite a bit more of the weeds out from this area. I'm gonna try and clear the rest of this area out by hand. And the good thing about that is, is I can use that all for kindling for a fire. So let's just see how much I can get done. Well, it's getting more, more and more done. I mean, I figure this lot is not gonna clear itself. So I need some kindling. I need my lot cleared and uh, I don't have any tools to do it. So I do know how to pull weeds and so that's what I'm doing, pulling weeds, burning some of them, just throwing them in there. This morning I had made a fire and cooked breakfast on it, and I thought it was dead, but it's not. Uh, I guess it's still going a little bit. And my kindling pile gets bigger. <laughs> right on. Okay, I've got it almost to the pole. You may not think I did all that much work, but it was a lot. These weeds used to be all the way up to where this van was. I couldn't even get my solar panels where they are right now. Um, so this whole area was covered in those weeds. And I have gotten it back to almost the power pole. So my goal is to clear out this whole main area. And uh, then I'm just maybe start clearing out to the stream. Yeah, it feels good to be doing something finally. I mean, I was just getting tired. Oh, I kind of modified this a little bit. Um, a guy named Eddie that lives nearby with his girlfriend just gave me a bunch of stuff. Came over and gave me the most sweetest pears and they're delicious. Yeah, so I built that up a little bit so that I could put more wood in there. I need two more cinder blocks basically. <laughs> yeah two more cinder blocks. I don't know. I'll probably redo this again. But he gave me that extra little grill part that helps support this. And he also gave me a, um, let me show you. See that saw? He gave me that saw so I'll be able to saw things. And look at this big old brush pile. Whew! Started out tiny and now it's pretty big. 
So, yeah, I've just got all of that left to do over by the wheelbarrow, over by the power pole, and I think I'm going to finish this up tomorrow. Yep, I'm pretty proud of the work I did today. It was a lot of work. I'm burning a lot of the brush right now just for the heck of it. See, the pile is dwindling a little bit. But you guys, I got to show you this. Uh-uh, no Betty. Guy came by, owns about 350 acres of land, and gave me this. What do you think that is? Look at it. Check it out. That is a deer liver, a uh, deer heart, and a deer liver. Now I know how to cook the liver. I do not know how to cook the heart. So I'm going to take this over to my neighbor's house and put it in the freezer and figure out how to cook the heart. And well, the liver, I'm going to fry it up with some bacon. It's going to be delicious, but oh my goodness. Check it out, guys. Betty wants it. No, you cannot have it, Betty. No, you cannot. Check this out. I went up to look in my mailbox to see if there was this delivery that I was expecting. And on the outside of the mailbox, there's a little post that you can set things on. Somebody left me this. Moravian, Moravian Daily Text 2016, a devotional guide for every day. Hmm. Interesting. Does anybody know anything about the Moravian Church? I have no idea. But, you know what? I'm going to read it. Well, it's a beautiful sunny day out today. It is nice and warm. There's a cool breeze in the air. There is not a better day this week to get to work on this lot. So, yeah, let's get going. Yeah. Just to start the day off right, I am making me some eggs and home fries, I guess, sort of. Potatoes. <laughs> I've seasoned it with salt and chili powder because I don't have any pepper. And this is what I'm going to eat before I finish clearing all of that area and over here as well. Yep. Breakfast of champions. Well, I was going to show you me in action pulling all these weeds, but just as soon as I walked away from the camera, it tipped over. So I need a tripod or something <laughs> because it just shows like about 30 minutes of nothing but this. So You'll just have to take my word for it. I did pull all this stuff by hand and it was fun and I got a good workout, so yeah. Well, I've gotten a little bit done, but my neighbor Anne and number one over there has bestowed a great gift upon me. Check that out. I'm gonna clean it up here in a little bit, take a break, and you see that extension cord? with the little plug-in, it leads all the way over to her property. All the way over to her power pole. I don't know if you can see it leading all the way over there, but just behind the trailer there's a big power pole that plugs in right over there. And so I am hooked up to electricity so that I cannot freeze to death. It is gonna be 14 degrees on Tuesday. Oh, look at me. She gave Betty a little chew toy too. It's gonna to be 14 degrees on Tuesday, and I tell you what, way too cold to be in this van without some kind of heat. So this, it's going to work great. I'll put it on low, and I've already plugged it in. It already works. It puts out a whole lot of heat. And I'm just going to have to figure out a safe place to put it in the van um, that isn't too close to anything. I've got a, I've got a piece of wood over there, and um, I may just be able to put it on top of that and make it nice and level and whatnot. Because this is one of those things that if you tip it over, it'll turn off. So, you know what, guys? I have been so blessed. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Um, later on today, when it cools off, if you can believe that, it's, it's actually pretty warm outside. I'm going to get the rest of that pulled from around that pole. Oh, and Anne also gave me a um, Christmas tree. And I'm going to set it up right by that power pole and put some ornaments on it and some lights. Hopefully USB powered lights. And have a festive Christmas. So, yeah, here's my little lot, guys. There's my awesome neighbor who is helping me not freeze to death in the van. There's Betty. 
it's been a wonderful couple of days. Even though door dashing and work and money flow has not been good, um, lots of other things have been super great. So that's it, you guys. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.